Hello everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. I'm your host Faraz and we are going to discuss another really interesting problem. So we saw in the last problem that we were supposed to find two numbers the summation of which is equal to a given target. Now we extended the problem slightly. Now there are three numbers and the summation is equal to a specific target and in this case the target is given as zero. It could be anything, it could be 5, 6, 7, whatever number, but they decided to give it as 0. Okay? So now instead of two numbers, we have three numbers, and so is the name of the problem. So find all the unique triplets in the array which gives the sum of 0. Notice the solution must not contain duplicate triplets. Alright. So we are going to approach this problem in a similar way that uh, we did with the two sum problem. So we will be sorting the array. Let us first sort the array. This is the first step. Sort nums dot begin to nums dot end. Now this array is sorted. So what should be the next step? So I want this problem to get reduced in the two sum problem. So for that I should know one of these numbers a b or c so if I know one of these numbers then I will be left with only two numbers and that problem statement will be same as the two sum problem so for that I will be running a loop for int i is equal to 0 i is smaller than n i plus plus int n is equal to nums dot size so now int a is equal to nums of i so now I have A. Okay. Now I'm left to find B and C. So I have to find two numbers B and C. I already have A. So now like my target was zero initially. Now what is my target? I have to find two numbers and my target should be negative of A. So int T is equal to negative of A. Okay, this should be my target. Now we can apply the same algorithm here that we did in the two sum. We can have two pointers. The first one is start and it will point to i plus 1 because we will be searching from the next number. We are at the ith position and we will be searching from the next number and then we will have another pointer and that should be equal to n minus 1. While start is smaller than end, if nums of start plus nums of end if it is equal to the target and the target is t which is equal to negative a. Actually you can look at it like this a plus b plus c should be equal to 0 and as we know a b plus c should be equal to negative of a. Okay. So now nums of s nums of and if the summation is equal to t we got the triplet and the triplet is uh, the triplet is i comma s comma e so these three are the indices for which the submission is equal to the given target which is zero okay so these three are the indices now we need to store them so first of all let us create a vector of a vector of int answer so this is a 2d vector okay like 2d arrays this is a 2d vector and this triplet should be inserted inside this answer so answer dot pushback I'm inserting a vector into this answer. So to create a vector, I can use these curly braces. I, S, and E inside these curly braces is is a vector. So this thing is a vector. I'm inserting a vector inside a vector here, like this, using a using the operation pushback. I hope this syntax is clear. And if it is not clear, just let me know in the comments. I will make another video in which I will be explaining how to insert a vector inside a vector. So this is a vector of vector and this is how you insert a vector inside a vector of vector alright so we found one triplet okay if it is not the case if nums of s plus nums of and if it is greater than the target then in this case what I have to do I will have to reduce this summation and to reduce the summation I can do and minus minus Otherwise, I can do S++. plus plus. I want to increment the summation and to increment the summation, I can move S to the right side and I will do S++. plus plus. If you are not clear with these steps, you can watch the previous video in which we have discussed the two sum problem and the algorithm is exactly the same. 
all right so finally I will return the answer from here okay let us try to run this and try to debug this if there are any errors so we are having TLE because when we go inside this if condition we are doing nothing we will be we will still remain on this S and this E and again we will come to this loop so what I should do is I should do start plus plus and end minus minus so that I can move from this position okay so now we have this as the output and this is the expected output uh, why is it so alright so first of all um, we are inserting the indices here we are inserting the index i index s and the index e but instead of that they want us to store the value so nums of i nums of s and nums of e okay and let me try to run this now still there's going to be some error and we will try to debug that as well so now we have minus one minus one two minus one zero one then again minus one zero and one why because minus one is coming two times okay that is why there is this repetition minus one zero and one for this pair and then minus one zero and one for this pair again and we want to eliminate this repetition we want the answers to be unique now for that what I can do is let me just try to minimize it and uh, maximize my code here the first thing is when I'm running this uh, the for loop so after this what I can do is while nums of i plus 1 is equal to nums of i I can just keep incrementing i plus plus okay I can just keep in incrementing and at the same time I will be checking this i plus 1 should be smaller than nums dot or we can use n here i, sh I plus 1 should be smaller than n and till the time this condition is satisfied we will increment i so as to skip the numbers which are repeating okay another thing is here here we can do while nums of s is equal to nums of s plus 1 and s is smaller than end I can do s plus plus okay while nums of end is equal to nums of n minus 1 start is smaller than end I can do and minus minus just to eliminate the elements which are repeating so we used these two conditions over here and this condition to increment i over here now let us try to run this and it is giving us correct answer let us try to submit it now it got accepted now I want you guys to figure out the time and the space complexity of this algorithm please comment down below what is the time complexity of this algorithm and what is the space complexity of this algorithm if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section as well so this is it for the video I will be coming up with more videos in future also you can connect with me on LinkedIn and on Instagram both links I have provided in the description as well thank you guys you can practice these questions by yourself and we will meet in the next video